Hi, I'm Lindsay and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. This week we wrote a bit of an introduction to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP. The TPP is an international trade agreement, which, among other things, includes copyright measures that are far more restrictive than any existing treaties or legislation that is active in Canada. Right now this agreement is largely characterized by the secrecy it's shrouded in. Negotiations around the TPP have been ongoing since 2008, but we still know very little about it, and there have been few, arguably no, forums for citizen or stakeholder input. What we do know is that the TPP could give big media new powers to lock us out of our own services, and stronger powers to filter online content and circumvent our privacy rights. You can join the global pro-internet community in standing against the TPP, in addition to other policies that would create an internet lockdown, by signing the petition at internetlockdown.ca and spreading the word. There's a lot of money and power behind the TPP, yes, but there's no reason to believe that together we can't be effective. Last week, for instance, the Dutch pro-internet community saw a huge victory as the Netherlands became the first country in Europe to pass net neutrality or internet openness legislation. Additionally, the European pro-internet community has taken a successful stand against cell phone bill shock by putting a cap on data roaming charges. So what it seems we have here, folks, is a global pro-internet movement. This is an exciting time for digital policy in Canada, and you should all be very excited and very proud to have your voices helping to shape it. I know I am. For the internet, this is Lindsay with your weekly news update, signing off.